This is King Noble, Black Supremacy. And with this particular video, I want to speak on Roy Moore, candidate for Senate coming out of Alabama. I want to speak on Roy Moore and the sex abuse allegations <clears throat> and show how why the white American system is falling apart. Now, recently, we know that Roy Moore was running for Senate and was running a pretty good, strong campaign into these 40 year old sex abuse allegations came out about him. And to me, it shows a lot. For one, these 40 year old sex abuse allegations that seem to be baseless and unproven from what I've seen, no has strong evidence has come out other than allegations and rumors. But what it seems to me is, is that feminism, white feminism, is starting to bring down the elite, period. That the elite is letting feminism destroy it. And now it's actually leaking over into the government and into the political system. Because there's a lot of disunity in America, in the government. It's turned out to be each and every man for themselves they so interested in their career and their position has become so competitive among white males that they're disunified leaving themselves open for the most vicious feminist attack ever known in history so feminism is now attacking white male patriarchy but the white male has become so selfish and so individualistic that they can't even band together as men to stand against this new feminist attack. It's not even about white imperialism anymore, white nationalism or white supremacy, or even American patriotism, governmental integrity. These things don't even exist anymore. It's each and every man for themselves. So they watched the feminist wolves tear down one of their white male constituents and they just stand by and watch and hop on the side of the feminists, not realizing that their days are numbered, that they will be next. Because when they see one of them being attacked, they feel like, hey, it's an opportunity for them. It's an opportunity for their party or their political ide ideology to rise at the fall of the one that's under attack, that their rise will come out of the fall of their white brethren. And this is just how they're thinking within the political system. That's going to lead to their downfall because there's no more integrity, selfishness, division between the white female and the white male. Will begin to, this will begin to erode their political structure and their political system. That's what's destroying them. So white, the white American system is on its deathbed. You got somebody like Roy Moore accused of something that supposedly happened 40 years ago. Now they are questioning his legitimacy and should he be able to run for Senate and is he a qualified candidate? But what does these allegations even have to do with his ability to unify the Republicans and the Democrats or to be efficient in that political office, seeing how the founding fathers of this country had slaves. They weren't just molesters that participated in child abuse or what in his case would have been statutory rape, sexual misconduct, or just something that is highly offensive to society. They didn't just participate in that. They add they had actual slaves. They dehumanized human beings. They had sex slaves. They turned their slaves to sex slaves and they abused them in every manner possible and held them as human property. And these are the founding fathers that has framed this country. These are the founding fathers whose backs and whose philosophy 
that this country stands on. And they had slaves and they was able to set up this white supremacy utopia or paradise for white males. It didn't stop them from doing it. And they're so protective of these founding fathers that they don't even want to see their statues removed or their monuments desecrated, even though they had slaves and they participated in murder, human trafficking, and they capitalized off of it and built an empire that we call the United States of America. And if they was able to build this country and frame this country and structure this country that the white man is proud of, how can they render Roy Moore to be inefficient to carry out the legacy and the vision of the original slaveholders, sex slaveholders and human traffickers that are the founders of this country. They will never, never turn their back on the founding fathers. But now they allow them, they, they, they render a man useless based on allegations that have yet to be proven that are over 40 years old. If that does not show you that white supremacy is falling for any reason now, that white supremacy is on his deathbed, that this system is on his deathbed for any reason now, I don't know what could. Roy Moore is a conservative, a racist white patriot, and he's being disqualified and tried in the media. He's being condemned by people of the same type of ideology and philosophy that he has. His very own constituency is ousting him, the Republicans, the Republican Party. There is no more integrity in this country. Some of you are saying, I'm proud of this. I'm proud to see, you know, Roy Moore come under attack because he's a white nationalist or white supremacist. Y'all proud of that because you only look at it from the perspective of the racist narrative. But it's a sign of how this country is crumbling and how we are about to end up in very perilous times because the, the structure of this country is, is totally falling apart. So we're, we're, we're on the cusp of something that is, that is very disastrous if we are not prepared because we're not paying attention clearly to what's going on. This country is divided in every possible way that it could be divided based on race, based on gender, and now people are even divided within these same political parties. There is no more integrity within this country. The matrix is collapsing. This shit is over with. Close up your suitcases and shut down the office. This is it. Some of the cases against Roy Moore in Alabama would not even be considered statutory rape because at the time that these incidents occurred, that it was okay to marry younger women with their parents' consent. I think the consent at that time may have been as low as 15, 40 years ago, and possibly even lower. So he's being tried based upon a new popular consensus reality about what's the okay age of consent and what's the proper time to marry a woman. That's that, These values have been modernized and have changed over time, and now... These situations are being resurrected to criminalize him and to condemn him from getting into a political office. Trump being impeached. They want to impeach him. They didn't found six different reasons of why they want to impeach Donald Trump. The white man ain't together no more. This is it. Your master is divided, confused, split, corrupt. It's over with for white supremacy. That's what you're seeing. Because when you look at Steve Bannon and you look at Breitbart and you look at Roy Moore and you look at Trump, you say, well, damn, these are these all. This is the same ideology. This is the same philosophy that they all should easily be on the same team. But they're not. The white nationalists and white conservatives are divided. 
The Republicans are divided. The Democrats divided. This country divided. I have to speak on this. Pay attention on how this country is crumbling. There's no more integrity in this country. And that, that's not even to mention agencies against agencies and agencies investigating agencies. The FBI against the Department of Justice and you know what I'm saying? This country has never been more divided in the history of its conception. There's never been more hypocrisies, corruptions, paradoxes, and just outright fucking foolishness and stupidity. This King Noble Black Supremacy, draw my website, www dot king noble uncensored dot com donate and don't hate